From Little Havana back now to downtown Miami, Joe Gorcho about to join us. And Joe, there was a lot made over the last 24 hours about the police presence that we were expecting out here. Miami police said that they were ready to go, but there was some concerns that there were no barricades, just tape and nothing too serious. But it looks like for the most part, the efforts that they put into it paid off. Overall, everyone seemed calm, but there were a couple of issues where you were, correct? There was, and it was on the opposite side. We're on the east side now, but on the opposite side from where I'm standing right now, Lauren, so on Northwest First Avenue, there was an incident around the time of the former president leaving the courthouse with his motorcade. What we did see in some other video is that a person that we spoke to, one of the detractors, a counter protester for today, in a looking dressed in a jail like costume outfit, had to be tackled by officers as he jumped in front of the former president's motorcade and Secret Service has taken him in for questioning. When I reached out to the city of Miami police at last check, he's still detained and having to answer questions for that incident that took place. The Secret Service did issue a statement saying that both on both occasions, the individual that was in the roadways was removed swiftly by officers and that did not impact the protective movements of the former president. But Lauren, outside of that one major incident that took place a couple hours ago, it's been relatively calm. There have been some tense encounters and verbal exchanges between some of the detractors here and the supporters. Some of the detractors went right into the middle of the crowd that was centered, uh, centrally located by the courthouse to make their presence felt and, and to share their opinions. And we just heard a couple times throughout the day some really loud exchanges between the two sides, but very few detractors for the most part throughout the day. But we did hear why some of them felt it was important, even though they knew they would be few in numbers, relatively speaking, to that of the supporters, but why they felt it was was important to be out here today for the court hearing. I was on my way home and I've been watching the whole Russia gate for seven years and I figured it's a suitable place for it to start to end up with its conclusion right here in my hometown. In terms of obviously, yeah, things are happening right now, the proceedings happening right now. And now we're really getting to the heart of the matter, which is espionage. I mean, Trump and those guys came in and the whole government was in anything must go sale. The indictment itself is it's about time. He has led a life of criminality for such a long time, and it's finally catching up with him. I mean, the pictures don't lie. And again, those that are against the former president wanting accountability in this case, while those that support wanting the opposite, calling this a witch hunt. We'll hear from more on that later. But again, as you can see, Lauren, the scene outside here, much more calm as mostly media now remains after the court hearing today. Lauren, back to you. All right, Joe, thank you. And from Joe, I want to jump right over to Joan Murray because I understand, Joan, that you actually spoke to the man believed to have been involved in that sort of altercation with the former president's motorcade. Is that who you spoke to? And if so, what did he say? Yeah, we spoke to him, and you're going to hear from him in just a little bit. He is a firm anti-Trump. Uh, demonstrator here today. We saw maybe about a dozen circulating throughout the crowd. At times, uh, they would get into little skirmishes with some of the pro Trump people. Uh, but overall, it was largely civil here at this demonstration today. The crowd has dispersed at this hour. Maybe we saw about a couple of hundred of pro Trump supporters. But now let's take a listen to a pro Trump supporter and that anti Trump person that. Uh, has been detained. Take a listen. The biggest lie is that minorities are leftists. We are not leftists. I'm from Miami, Florida, and we are MAGA. I got my own daughter and my mother. They voted for Trump. So look what I'm up against in my own household. This whole country has been brainwashed from the biggest con and he had a cult following now. They believe his lies. Now, that gentleman is certainly not shy about expressing his views on the former president. Again, uh, we understand he was detained. We don't know the status of what exactly happened. A number of the supporters out here today say they will be going on and supporting the former president in his run for the presidency next year. In downtown Miami, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.